hey it's the empire don't forget to hit the like button the subscribe button and the bell icon for more videos be taking over let's go champ hit that like button hit that subscribe button right now let's hey it's the empire geo boxing empire back to my boxing now man care book says some wild stuff man talking trash about Amir Khan leading up to his upcoming fight February 8th man in the Sheffield Arena right now Carol Brooks is going to be fight this guy named Mark DeLuca uh February 8th um so we're really going to see uh a hopefully a better Carol Brook uh his last fight wasn't too spectacular he won the fight but he wasn't looking great right now <laughs> Kerr Brook had this quote, and it's it is funny. It, it, he says, and I quote, I'd put an American flat on his face. I'd do him in. So, you know, that's that's what Kerr Brook has to say. You know, it sounds real suspect. Now, it's wild, man. You know, there's been a lot of uh, speculation about Kerr Brook and his uh, preferences and and mating, you know, or, or what he likes. You know, if he, if he likes men, you know, I'm just going to come out and say it. I was going to come out and say it. People have been real suspect about him, you know, liking other guys. And, uh, you know, that quote says it all. It says it all. And I was laughing for like five minutes when I first read that quote. I think that, <laughs> Kurt Brook, man, what, what a guy, you know. It's crazy, man, because in boxing, you know, one loss, man, it does, or a couple losses do too much to your career, man. You know, these fires really put their life in the line. And these fires, some of them get no respect, man. Sometimes when fighters take too many L's, people don't want to see the fights they thought they wanted to see because they're, uh, the fighters are considered not relevant anymore. The only fight that I know of that people still talk about, even if the fighters take losses, is Carol Brook versus Amir Khan, man. People still want to see that fight, man. And I'm one of the people who want to see Carol Brook versus Amir Khan, man. I really want to see that fight to this day. I really want to see it because whoever wins that fight, will be catapulted back to where they, they need to be to be uh, the top contenders again at 147. It's just that big of a fight, man. It's just so much history, so much back and forth, so much animosity, so much behind the scenes. And, you know, people want to see, people want to, people want to hear about it in the press conferences for one. And then they want this, they want to see the results because they've been talking about it for years, right? You know, it's crazy because when when usually how British uh, how the British titles work, most of the time people get the Commonwealth title, then they get the European title, and then they go for a world title or, or fight for a continental title. Usually, uh, before fighters ch try to fight the world, they try to claim dominance in their own country first. You know, they try to be claimed the best in their country before they do it. You know, that's the complete opposite with Carol Brook and, and Amir Khan. They decided that they never need to fire each other and that one was just not good enough for the other. But it turned out they were both really great fighters and they were both became world champions in their own right. So that being said, man, you know, it's 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 sort of crazy, man. You, you know, you hate that guy and then you thought he was nothing and he'll never be anything. And next thing you know, this guy's a champion. And then you thought... You know, your rival, who, who was just that guy who talked that trash, would never be anything. And then he became world champion like you. You know, it's wild stuff, man. Carol Brook and Amir Khan have some history, man. And it's it's just it's just crazy, man. I, I was really shocked that, you know, someone that you, that you grew up with or that you trained with, whatever, and you don't like, became world champion just like you. You know, I mean, what are the chances, right? What are the chances? So we're going to see how everything unfolds, man. I really think that at this point in their career that they need each other. They need each other right now. And what's going to happen is this. You can either you can either keep fighting. No one's getting paid bare minimum. Or you can fight each other and get paid a lot. I'm talking about probably $10 million plus. You know, one thing about it is for this domestic fight, it's always a big deal in the U.K. It's always a big deal in the U.K., right? Uh, so we're, we're going to see how this whole thing unfolds, man. I'm really excited. Every time people talk about Carol Brook and Amerikan, people get tired of it, man. I'm not tired of it. I'm <laughs> I'm never, ever tired about people talking about Amerikan and Carol Brook, man. I, I have hope, you know. I have hope. Let me know how you guys feel about it, though, man. I thought Carol Brook's uh, comments about Amerikan, that was that was funny, man. That was funny. Let me know how you guys feel about it, though. Like, comment, subscribe. This is the Empire. Geobasic Empire. Peace.